ஓம் நமோ வெங்கடேசாய வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு விசிட் அப்பலாய குண்டா ஸ்ரீ பிரசன்ன வெங்கடேஸ்வர சுவாமி டெம்பிள் ஐ வுட் டெஃபினெட்லி வாண்ட் டு ஷேர் திஸ் சோல்ஃபுல் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் தட் ஐ ஹாவ் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ்ட் த லார்ட் ஹியர் யூ கேன் வாட்ச் வெரி கேர்ஃபுல்லி வண்டரிங் வாட் லுக் அட் இஸ் ஹேண்ட் இட்ஸ் இன் அபயா போஸ்டர் திஸ் டெம்பிள் இஸ் டெடிக்கேட்டட் டு லார்ட் வெங்கடேஸ்வரா ஹூ இஸ் ஆல்சோ கால்ட் ஆஸ் பிரசன்ன வெங்கடேஸ்வரா Unlike other typical Perumal temples, the presiding deity has his right hand in Abhaya posture. This temple is located exactly around 16 km from Tirupati Chittu, which is at Andhra Pradesh in India. This temple was constructed in 1232 AD by King of Karveti Nagaram. This village is so beautiful, surrounded with beautiful trees just under the mountain. and the weather was very pleasant the road is well maintained i seriously feel that there is a connection between the soil and the mountain along with the human being only in this particular village it is so serene and natural and the freshness in the air still reminds me the wonderful journey that we have taken here we are entering this temple this temple is located right under the mountain So I would suggest everyone whomsoever is planning to visit Tirumala please don't forget to visit this particular temple it does not have a lot of tourists many people have unnoticed this beauty which is located in Tirupati so kindly visit and you don't have a lot of people also over there it is a wonderful journey that we had The main beauty of this temple is the Lord's blissful posture is so pleasant and definitely rewarding for a devotee like me who wants to indulge into deep into the swami's dreams. Significance of this temple is so many. One I would say that Sri Siddheswara and other sages on the occasion of Lord's marriage was you know given blessings here. as the temple was the place of the lord's union with sri padmavati ammavaru it is considered most pleasant and very well granting there are also few things that has to be noted in this temple there are two more shrines one is for goddesses padmavati and the other one is andal ammavaru each and every deity is so beautifully carved and the power of specially i felt it in andal ammavaru i could see a real woman standing closely to you and blessing you vayu bhagwan is also one very important deity here he is also located in the temple and he is also considered as one of the main deity here the temple has great powers especially to discharge doshas that are concerned with physical psychological and professional misfortunes and also vayu bhagwan is worshiped here for relief of all the chronic diseases friends all that it matters is your belief i believe in it and everyone who believes in miracles it does happen It is really a rewarding experience to visit this temple. It can refresh one's mind and soul. Unusually, as the god is depicted with abaya posture, he is ready to grant all the blessings to his devotees. Normally, at every temple or a pilgrim, there is a holy pond, a water body, and this water body Tirtham, Koneru or Pushkarni is very well maintained. The entire temple, I would say, you know is well maintained and it is surrounded by trees right under the mountain a beautiful view this is a place where i would like to sit and read vishnu sahasra nama and meditate for a while and definitely we all felt the beauty of the temple along with the village and this experience will always be in our mind i hope you will make some time to visit this temple during your visit to Tirupati and definitely share your experiences and comments let's travel and notice the unnoticed hope you enjoy this video keep watching it thanks for your support 
and don't forget to like share and your comments om namo venkateshaya thank you